They take it as a joke. My sister's no joke. My sister's a human being. And I want justice. And I want answers. Angry and heartbroken, the family of Vanessa Guillen, saying they believe that Vanessa, a 20-year-old Army soldier stationed at Fort Hood, Texas, was murdered after reporting to work back in April. How can this happen on military base? How can this happen while she was on duty? Searchers located human remains Tuesday, 25 miles from Fort Hood. According to the family lawyer, two suspects are in custody. One is the civilian wife of a soldier at Fort Hood in custody. A third suspect committed suicide early Wednesday morning in Killeen, Texas, after fleeing the Army base on foot. As officers attempted to make contact with the suspect, he produced a weapon and committed suicide by shooting himself. That individual who killed himself, according to Vanessa's family, was her superior, the same person they say was sexually harassing Vanessa, who she complained about in the weeks before she died. This is that same person that we are talking about, her superior that she was with that day, that um, harassed her. They claim that sexual harassment is not, apparently to them, it's not important. What about now? Because it led up to this, Vanessa's family claim they told the Army investigators about the sexual harassment after Vanessa went missing two months ago, but were told at the time that sexual harassment wasn't criminal and had nothing to do with Vanessa's disappearance. Well, guess what? We have a dead person because of sexual harassment. It is criminal. The two-month investigation into Vanessa's disappearance seemed to be at a standstill until the family rallied help from members of Congress last week to intervene with a meeting at a press conference at Fort Hood. Now, the family is demanding a full congressional investigation. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, who served 17 years in the Army, is standing with the Guillen family. We need to know why she did not get the help that she needed when she needed it, and why this family is forced to grieve and mourn her loss here today. Vanessa, according to her family, was living a dream she first started talking about when she was 10 years old to serve in the United States military. Now, her family says it was the military that let her down. Vanessa Guillen did not deserve this. And if those criminals are still out there, take my word that we will not rest. We will not stop and we will keep fighting until you're behind bars. Oh my gosh, what a heartbreaking story. Yeah. Let's bring in now Ted Rollins to talk about this even more. Uh, Ted, I think one of the most shocking things in your report there was that this family was told that sexual harassment isn't anything criminal. My gosh. Yeah, can you imagine? So she goes missing. Um, and this is two months ago. They go in and they say, hey, we've got some information. Um, right before she went missing, she says she was being sexually harassed by a sergeant here in the Army. Uh, big clue for you, investigators. Well, they turn to her, to the family, and they say, uh, that's not illegal sexual harassment, and it has nothing to do with this missing person. They doubled down the investigators from the Criminal uh, Investigation Division of the Army with members of Congress, with Sylvia Garcia, saying basically the same thing. It's insane. I mean, uh, what are these people doing? This is like the big, a clue, right? They're looking for a missing person. A missing soldier from there, from Fort Hood, is missing, and they have this clue that she was being sexually harassed. They didn't do anything in that until they were pressured by Congress. And then that was last week. They found the body. Two people are arrested and a guy kills himself. Uh, it's horrible that what this family has gone through is absolutely despicable. Oh, absolutely. Despicable is the word. Uh, you're absolutely right, my friend. And and you would think even within the military. I mean, that's why we have JAG officers, you know, to prosecute folks for misconduct. And you would think if they were saying, oh, look, we're not going to put this information out there for other investigators on the outside, searching for her body, searching all over for this woman, you would think they might do something internally. But, but no, apparently not, right? Uh, to your knowledge, Ted, nothing there as well either. Well, they launched an, an investigation into the sexual harassment claim last week um, mm. after Re Representative Garcia came forward. You know, another thing, Tulsi uh, Gabbard, who served in the Army for 17 years, she knows it. She was a junior 
officer, a junior, you know, a, 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 a soldier. She went through it. And she was standing outside in Washington, D.C. today with this family in unison. And she is asking for change as well uh, and answers because something is wrong here. Let's take a listen. I stand with the Guillen family in calling for congressional oversight to find out exactly what happened to her. The fact that over 60 days has gone by and still there's been no disclosure of the internal investigation of her sexual harassment charges is absolutely unacceptable. We need to know why she did not get the help that she needed when she needed it and why this family is forced to grieve and mourn her loss here today. And Tulsa Gabbard and others, they want change and they want an investigation, but here's why. It's not because obviously people shouldn't be murdered in the military. What the problem is here in this case, Julie, it's the sexual harassment. There's nowhere to go for these young women and men because the way it's structured, you have to go to the chain of command. You have to go to, in some cases, in Vanessa's case, the person that was doing it to her to mm. complain. That's what they want changed. Uh. And that's why these laws are in place to protect people who fall victim to that. Um, because It's a pervasive problem. Uh, you know it. Uh, Ted, excellent job reporting on such a heartbreaking story. Thank you so much.